What's up fellow witches and wizards? My name is James Brown III and I play Bane in Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on Broadway. I'm also the movement captain. So today I thought it'd be fun to get you guys off the couch and stop watching that muggle TV and get some blood going. So I wanted to take you guys through a classic warm up that we do before every show to get ready for the show. Um, so we'll do some core exercises, we'll do some push ups, we'll do some summer buns, um, and this will all just be for great mobility, for core strength, for arm sh and shoulder strength, and for those summer buns. Um, we'll do some stretching in between each set. I'll take you through, talk you through, it'll be super easy um, and really fun. So let's do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is our ab series. We'll always start with our feet flat on the ground and we will do what I, I'll call out, find your headphones. And that just means creating little headphones on your, on your ears. And um, <clears throat> the first set, our feet will be flat. We'll do four just enough to get your shoulders off the mat or off the floor. So we'll do four flat. We'll do four with our toes on the ground. We'll do four with our heels on the ground. And then we'll do four with right angles. And that's a full set. At the end of each set, we'll always do a super set of eight. And the super, first super set of eight will be feet flat, reaching up the diagonal, and we'll do eight of those. The second super set, will be our legs straight up in the air, reaching up our shins. The third superset will be our, we'll stay at those right angles and reach for the ankles. And then the fourth superset will be pistons. Cool? So we'll always do the full set and then the eighth superset. I'll talk us through it as we go. No stress, no big deal. And it'll be great. Shall we start? All right, let's do it. <clears throat> so find your headphones, feet flat on the ground, Ready, go. One, two, three, four toes. One, two, three, four heels. One, two, three, four right angles. One, two, three, four superset feet flat on the ground, reaching up the diagonal. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, release. Good, release that. Releasing just allows your uh, your abdomen and your core to reset. Um, and core work is something you can do every day. Uh, you can start your workout as a way to warm up and you can end your workout if you'd like as well. Um, but it's definitely something that you can do every day. Your abs reset, they relax, they do the whole thing way faster than most other muscles on your body. So let's do the second set. Find your headphones. And one, two, Three, four toes, a one, two, three, four heels, a one, two, three, four right angles, one, two, three, four legs straight, superset, reaching up the shins, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, release. Good. Nice, you can say release down. I just, I'm sitting up to chat with you guys. But breathe, this is a great time to breathe. Great time to let everything recalibrate. Cool, let's get back in there. All right, find your headphones, third set. Ready, and one, two, three, four toes, one, two, three, four heels, one, two, three, Four right angles, one, two, three, four legs stay there, reaching for the angles. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, release. Good. Find that reset. You can let your hands rest on your bellies or on the sides of your ribs. Just focus on relaxing that. Good, good, good. And last set, finding your headphones. Ready, and one, two, three, four toes, one, two, three, four heels, one, two, three, four right angles, one, two, three, four pistons, and one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. Good, good, good. So that was our core exercise group there. So the next thing I'm gonna take you guys through is our push-up routine. So, uh, we'll do four sets of different kinds of push-ups. In between each set, I'll take you through just a little bit of a stretching exercise for our shoulders and our wrists. Um, and that just gives us a moment to rest as well. The first set will be eight push-ups, normal push-ups. If you've got a yoga mat, you can kind of use the edge of the mat as a good um, width for your, for your hands. But basically, just they should be a little bit outside of your shoulders, um, but whatever is comfortable for you. So we're gonna do eight push-ups and then we'll stretch. So let's get into it. We're ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, release. Good, good, good. So, sitting back, drop the shoulders, reaching the right arm across the left. This, this shoulder will hike up, so let that sit back into your back, drop it back into your back, away from the ears. Keeping your core engaged, your spine nice and long. Because we did those eight push-ups, our shoulders are start, starting to get uh, warm. So this is a great stretch to going after our shoulders are warm. And slowly releasing that, shaking it out. Good, left arm reaching across. Again, dropping that shoulder back into our back, away from the ears. Really good, keep breathing, keep the core engaged. Good, good, good. And releasing that. And relax. Awesome. So let's do our second set of push ups. So, our second set, our arms are going to be much wider than the mat. They're going to be nice and wide. And, uh, and actually, my fingertips are going to face away from each other. Great. So, we'll do eight. So, nice and wide outside of the mat. Feet flat, core engaged. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Release. Nice. Again, sitting back. Nice and long spine when you sit back. You can sit back on your heels. You can sit back on your butt. Whatever feels comfortable. Um, and reaching that right arm up and over. I'm going to reach this hand, my right hand, for the center of my back. And then with my left hand and my right elbow, I'm just going to create resistance between itself. So rather than trying to crank that elbow this way, I'm just really creating resistance right there at the top of my head. Stretching nice along that shoulder. A good rule of thumb for stretching is try to maintain each stretch between 20 and 30 seconds. Obviously you can stretch longer, but anything less than that didn't quite get the job done. Cool. So, releasing that slowly, letting the arm drop. Again, shake it out. And left arm up and over. Left hand reaching for the center of the back, creating resistance between the right hand and the left elbow. Nice and long. Breathing. Also, while you're stretching, when you're breathing, which you should always be doing, Try to think of focusing the breath into the muscle group that you're stretching. So at this point, you'd want to be stretching and feeling like you're breathing into the back, breathing into the shoulder, letting that all relax. Good. Release that slowly. Shake it out. All right. So the next set we're going to be doing are called chicken wings. So our elbows will be in nice and tight, hands nice and tight and uh, they'll be grazing the ribs as we do, do push-ups. And this is really good for the triceps and also the chest. So chicken wings, let's do it. Hands are nice and tight, elbows grazing the ribs. Ready, and one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, release. Nice, nice, nice. So sitting back, let's put our palms on the ground in front of us. Sitting forward there, arms straight, and slowly sit back as far as you can until it gets unbearable. Breathing into the wrists, of course, into the forearms, into the elbows. Try not to hike the shoulders up this way. Keep them engaged. Good, and sitting forward to release that slowly. Releasing that sides. Sparks and muppets. Good, good. Our last set of push ups are our Rockies or getting us ready for one arm push ups. So we're going to do five push ups with our right hand high, and then we'll switch to do five with our left hand high. Our feet will be slightly wider than the normal push up stance, um, and this will get us, it's like a nice progression into a one arm push up. All right, so everything else remains the same. Nice long spine, nice long plank at the top, and just keep it all engaged. Don't hike your butt, and don't sag your butt. All right, right arm high, legs a bit wider. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five. Switch, and one, two, three, four, five. Good. Sitting back, since we did the palms of our hands, it's time we'll do the tops of our hands. So sit forward, put the tops of your hands down, rotate those elbows out towards me, and then sit back. Be really gentle with this. Again, breathing into the front of the wrist this time. Think of stretching that forearm nice and long, long up through the shoulder. Breathing. Good, and sit forward slowly to release that, releasing the hands. They'll be a bit tender. And sides. And sparks. And muppets. Great, so the next thing we're gonna do are butt busters or summer buns. So this is really good exercises for those glutes, which we've just been sitting on for the last three weeks. Um, so let's get those going. So what we're gonna do is find a neutral position with our hands underneath our shoulders, our knees underneath our hips, and we'll do eight of each, each exercise. So we'll do eight straight to the leg, kicking back, really squeezing the glute at the top. We'll do eight of those. We'll do eight fire hydrant, or sorry, we'll do eight with the foot reaching towards the ceiling or the sky, just squeezing at the top, that'll be a small motion. We'll do eight fire hydrants, where we go up and then slow down, up and then slow down. And then we'll do eight reaching knee to ear. So one, two, again, a small motion, just like that. Great, we'll do eight of each one on one side and then eight on the other. All right, shall we get started? So finding that neutral position, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Foot reaching to the ceiling, and we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fire hydrants, and do one, slow down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, knee to ear, and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight release. Nice. So sit back. You can take your fist and just kind of hit your butt. Let it relax and let it release. Good. Shake out your shoulders, your arms, wrists. Shall we do the other side? Just switch sides, whatever one you did before. Again, finding a nice neutral position. Really engage your core. Don't let your back arch really nice and tight. And ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Foot to ceiling. And do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fire hydrants. And do one, slow down. Two, slow down. Three, slow down. Four, slow down. Five, six, seven, eight. Knee to ear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. Good. And again, sitting back, hitting your butt, and shake your arms. So, witches and wizards, thank you so much for bearing with me, for getting off the couch, for getting your body moving, getting warmed up. You should be ready to go for the day. Um, and uh, just keep moving, just keep moving during this time. We're all in this together, separately, alone, but together. Um, but, uh, you know, find ways to get your body going, just to keep you active, to keep your mind active. You could do this series every day and it would be awesome. Um, or find another uh, workout regimen that makes sense for you. Any kind of body weight thing, any kind of stretching, all of those things will be really amazing for us physically and mentally as we all go through these tough times together. Um, so stay healthy, stay safe, stay vigilant, wash your hands, and um, keep smiling. Thanks guys.